Hey guys welcome back to another design tutorial. And today we will use glass morphism to create this banner design for social media in Adobe Illustrator. Glass morphism is a trend for 2021. And today you will learn how to apply glass morphism to your designs. Don't forget to subscribe for more similar tutorials. So let's jump right into Illustrator. First go to file and create a new artboard with square dimensions. So in order to create glass morphism. First we need to create some background, which will be used to create the glass morphism effect. Select the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Apply a dark red color to this square. Note down the RGB code for this color. Select the rectangle tool again, and create a small rectangle like this. Open the gradient panel. Apply a radial gradient to this rectangle. And invert it. Change the black side of this rectangle to bright red color. And the white side to a dark red color like this. Note down the RGB codes for these colors. And apply them in the gradient. Hold down the ALT key, and click and drag to create a copy of this rectangle. And place it at some distance. Press CTRL D to repeat this step several times. And create copies according to the full artboard. Now we will add subject image here. Download this image from the video description. Then drag this image in Illustrator. Align it to the center of the artboard. Place it slightly towards the bottom side. Then move this image slightly to the left. Now apply a shadow to this image. Open the effect menu, and select drop shadow from the list. Note down these values for the shadow and hit OK. This image is now looking more appropriate. Now the background for glass morphism is complete. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Then press Ctrl G to group them. We will use this full background to create glass morphism. First create a copy of this full background. And paste it in front. Now we have a copy of the full background. We will use this copy to create glass morphism. Apply some blur to this background copy. Open the effect menu, and apply some blur to the background. Select a suitable value according to your background and hit OK. Now we will create a clipping mask for this blur background. Select the rectangle tool, and create a large rectangle like this. Change its color so you can see it properly. Drag this rectangle out of the artboard. We will use this rectangle in a minute. Now select the rounded rectangle tool. And create a square while holding down the shift key. Rotate this square to 45 degrees and place it in front of the subject image. Slightly adjust this square according to the subject image. Apply some different color to this square. Now drag this white square back to the center. Select this white rectangle, and this small rounded rectangle. Open the Pathfinder panel. If this panel is not visible to you, open the Window menu, and here you will see Pathfinder. Then click on this icon which says Minus Front. Now we have a shape for clipping mask. Select this white shape, and the blur background. Open the Object menu, and make a clipping mask. 
Now we have a nice glass morphism effect for our design. This effect shows that the subject is standing behind a glass. Now we will apply a shadow to make it more appropriate. Select this clipping mask. Open the effect menu. And select drop shadow. Apply the same previous values and hit OK. This clipping mask is now looking more realistic. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Open the object menu, and lock the selection. Now we can work freely without disturbing this background effect. Place your logo at the top right corner. Drag your logo in Illustrator. Scale it down properly. And place it on a position like this. Write some headline text for this banner. Select the Type tool, and write some headline. Change its color to white. And note down the font that I've used here. Increase its font size to a suitable value. And change the paragraph alignment to right. Now we will slightly transform this text. Select the Transform tool. Click and hold this anchor point. Then hold down the Control key. And drag this anchor point slightly towards right. Hold down the Alt key. And click and drag to create a copy. Replace this copy with the remaining headline. Apply a yellow color to this half text. Note down the RGB code for this color. Slightly adjust the position of this full headline. Write some contact info at the bottom side. Select the rounded rectangle tool. And create a small rectangle here. Write some text for this rectangle. Change its paragraph alignment to center. And decrease its font size accordingly. Align it to the center of this rectangle. And apply the same dark red color to this text. Note down the font that I've used for the headline. Create a copy of this text. Change its color to white. Use some decent font for this copy. And write a contact number here. Note down the font that I've used. Increase its font weight. And adjust the position of this text. Now we will add some extra shapes for this banner. Select the ellipse tool, and create a small circle here. Scale it down to make it really small. Right-click on this circle. Go to Transform. And select Transform each from the list. Change the horizontal movement to 10 pixels. And create a copy. Select both these circles. Again right-click. And transform each. But this time, change the vertical movement to 10 pixels. And create a copy. Press Ctrl D to repeat this step several times. Select all these circles. Press Ctrl G to group them. Decrease their opacity to 70%. And place them on a position like this. 
create a copy and place it on the opposite side. This design is now complete. Open the object menu. And select unlock all. This will unlock the background. Select the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Open the object menu. And make a clipping mask. And here is the final output of the banner. With some nice glass morphism effect. Hope you liked today's design tutorial. Don't forget to like this video. And also subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.